Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. I have another easy fold and easy to measure expandable pocket using only one piece of 6x6 paper and there is no wastage. Uh, if you like simple, quick little projects like myself, this is a, a great little one for you to uh, make, uh, especially if you like making pockets. It's not a, a large pocket, but it's uh, cute enough so you could add some of your own little note cards in here uh, you could also make your own little uh, mini uh, recipe cards and it has this expandable side so it does have a large opening and then the extra little pieces uh, that were left over from making the pocket I just uh, decorated the top of the pocket <clears throat> so if you have single-sided paper and um, this part here is your white part you can add the extra a piece of paper that's um, cut off from the pocket and you can decorate the top like I have and then the other little extra pieces I just uh, altered a paper clip to make a little flag banner clip just a little extra uh, addition to the uh, pocket or you can um, put these on your planners or in your journals and I just clipped it onto here sort of just sl slowly sliding it this way uh, just to keep it in place until you know you know what you would like to do with the clip um, so it, it is a little bit of a funny way to try and get it on but so I just placed it in there for now um, but you can make it you can use the little extra pieces to make whatever you like with it but I just thought that was just a, a quick way to finish off the <clears throat> uh, the project uh, this is another one uh, and the extra pieces, I made two little file tabs and placed one on the front and one on the back. And the extra piece, I made another little mini uh, flag banner altered clip. So this is uh, the same. And it's got a large opening. And you can also write up here if you want to write what's inside the file pocket, uh, expandable pockets. And I made another one. <clears throat> and this one here, I've done the same and decorated the top and with the extra little piece uh, I just attached a paper clip just so I've got somewhere to hold that in the pocket I just fold that in half to create a little spot maybe you want to write a date or just a little note or write what's inside the file card and you can just write that in there or if you're gifting these a little file card you could write a tiny message in here as well so I just done that and just use a paper clip to keep that together that way and I just think these are just so cute and you know you can make these for craft fairs I just use your six by six whole six by six paper pads and you can make a ton of these and just keep them send them as happy mail gifts or keep them for yourself to store some of your own little uh, file tab note cards whatever you like <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how easily it is you can make this with just one piece of six by six paper and a perfect little project if you're a beginner as well so I, I, I place that one up there that just fit it easily up there uh, again it's just an easy fold easy to measure but um, I'm going to use a scoreboard and I have my six by six paper this is a double-sided paper it's just got a blank um, sorry a plain backing but if you've got double sided paper you just decide which side you want as your front so this will be the front if you've got double sided paper this would be my front and then <clears throat> the other part so I am just going to place it down on the six inch side and I'm going to uh, score at one inch uh, on both sides so it's one inch on one side and then I'm scoring it at five inches on the other side. So it's one inch going in. And then you're going to turn it around. And we're going to score at three and a half inches. <clears throat> so my paper has no direction. If your paper has a directional uh, pattern, you want to, uh, let me say, uh, so this part here where I scored, that's going to get folded up this way so just have a look at your pattern and I'm um, just making sure you've got your directional pattern facing the way you want it so just making sure when you score it at the three and a half inch this is going to be at the front and then <clears throat> we're just going to make a couple of cuts and we are going to remove the two long pieces uh, on both sides 
So I'm just going to go this way. So I'm just going to cut up along and remove that. And then I'm just going to remove this side as well. Okay, so we've got those two pieces. These are the two extra pieces that we're going to use to um, decorate the pocket and make the little altered paper clip. So now we've got these two pieces. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, you're going to see that score line. We're going to fold this over and line it up with that score line. So I'm just going to fold that over. If you have a bone folder, you can um, press it down just to make it easy. And then we're going to fold this over again one more time along that same fold line. So you've done that. So let's open this up now. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring this all the way over now to that score line or fold line. Like that. And then we are going to fold it towards you along that first fold line. And then back following those uh, fold lines. And then we're going to fold it so that now you've got this part facing you so that's how you want it to look like and we'll do it again on the other side so we're going to fold it over on that fold line Oops. and then we're going to fold it again along that same fold line I'm hoping you can see what I was trying to do there so that's done we're going to open that out we're going to bring this over now all the way over to that fold line and then we're going to grab that first uh, fold line we're going to bring it towards you and then bring it back on that fold line and then bring that one back towards you and now you should have both of the plain side or the back side facing you and then we're just going to fold this up and you're going to see now that these two pieces are wanting to rest to the back of that backing paper and that is where we're going to make the oh that's where we're going to add the glue so we're nearly done here and with next part first before we glue anything you can corner around these corners like i've done here and i've just cornered around at the corners or if you don't have a corner around a punch you can just leave it or you can angle cut it you can even cut across and go up to create a file tab here if you like so you can just cut as far down you like and then go up and then cut it at an angle and then you've got yourself like a, a file tab but I'm just going to corner around my corners <clears throat> for this part so just open this up I'm just gonna do that and I'll just grab some glue and I'm going to apply some glue to the um, sides here and that will close up my pocket or expandable pocket and that was just a really quick and easy pocket to make and you've got extra room to add some of your bulky package goodies if you like for a happy mail as well um, you, know, you can add tags in here you can add a whole bunch of stuff in here because there is so much room so I'm just gluing that down now and just lining it up with the edge and that will give you like an accordion style expandable pocket. How easy was that? So I'm just going to strain all that up. So now that's all done. You can just leave it now and then your pocket is ready and then you can do whatever you like with these two pieces. Um, if you don't want to use them, you don't have to. But I'm going to make it the same as this i'm just going to add that to the top so i've just grabbed this up and you can use your scoreboard and just uh, score it in half but i'll just fold it for the purpose of this video just to make it easier and i'll just do that and i'll corner around the corners just to tidy that up and if you don't have a corner around a punch, you can just angle cut it. I'll just put some glue inside and then I'll just adhere it to the top. I 
just um, line it against the top of the um, pocket and just press it down. You can have it higher if you like, if you wanted to set it up higher, if you wanted to do that. So that decorates the pocket. And then I've got the next piece and I might, I'll do the uh, altered clip with, as a flag banner shade. But if you wanted to do it uh, this way, it's just a simple folding it in half. So you just simply fold this in half, then create a little uh, fish towel at the bottom, and then you just attach it to your pocket and then add your clip. Or you can corner around the corners if you wanted to. It's just another little spot and you could write your little note. So that's another cute way to do that. But let's make the altered um, paper clip. So I'm just going to, I'm going to actually cut the end this way. <clears throat> and I'm going to just trim it down a little bit because it may, I want to make sure it'll fit inside. So I'm just going to trim it down. Okay, that should do it. And then I'm just going to grab them both and well, I'm just do one at a time. Just go up like that. And I'm going to show you an, another way you could um, make the pocket. If you don't want to make it as a pocket, you can make it into like a little envelope style expandable pocket, which I'll show you. I'll just finish this one off. So I'm just going to add some glue up here. And then I'm going to attach this one to the front. Hopefully that should fit. I should have actually put a bit of glue in under here. Just so that it does it, just to keep it secure. So that should fit. Okay, I'm just going to slide it inside, just like that. Slide it in, and just you just slide it to as far you want it, or how short you want your flag banner shape to be. And then I'm just going to fold it at the back, and then I'm just going to add some glue to the back here. And you can keep embellishing the. Um, the front here if you like and add some more embellishing like some rhinestones a word sentiment uh, some little uh, paper flowers anything you like I'll just keep it plain for now so there we have the little uh, altered paper clip and that can just get placed on here Actually, I don't mind the wrong way Actually, I might go back the other way because I like I want my clip this way so I'm gonna go this way so you just work out which way, which direction you want your clip to slide, left or right, and then you just place it. So I like mine down there so I can go this way. And then I just slide it in, and there we have that. Just bring it over. So now it's all together. So that's that. Now to make the envelope style, if you want to make it as an envelope, you can leave that there if you like. And you've got this extra piece here, which is enough for it to fold down. So all you're going to do is you're just going to, you can score if you like. I'm going to score it just so I have a nice, even straight line. I'm just going to place it on my scoreboard. I'm just going to go up just a little bit. Um, you can, let me just bring it up some closer. So I'm just going to, <clears throat> Probably just score it here, just a little bit away from the edge, about there. Or you can go a bit higher, it all depends what you would like or how far down you want your closure. So I'll score that. You can see that. And then you just fold that down. And there you have yourself like a expandable accordion style pocket <clears throat> or like a little pouch if you like. And then you can add a little Velcro dot to here to keep it closed, uh, a magnet, 
you can just add some washi tape you can add some string and there you have a, a expandable pocket envelope style or this way so there's the two ways you could uh, make them so i hope that you enjoyed this really fun quick easy fold easy measuring expandable accordion style pocket i hope you enjoyed this uh fun six by six paper tutorial i've already made um a few here and i'll see you soon in my next video bye for now